Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the Computer Aided Process Planning. It is a computer technology used to the aid of process planning of a part or a product. It is considered as a bridge between the computer aided drafting and computer aided machining. And the methods of the computer aided process planning are variant process planning, generative process planning, or semi generative approach. And the various process planning are it is a system uses the similarity among the components to retrieve the existing process plans. It includes two stages such as a preparatory stage and a production stage. During preparatory stage, existing components are coded, classified and subsequently grouped into families. While in the operation stage, the code is input to a part family search routine to find the family to which the component belongs. The family number is then used to retrieve a standard plan. Then sequences of variable process plans are First of all, family is formed, the database structure design is performed, the algorithm development and implementation and plan editing, finally the process parameter selection or updating. The family fam formation includes the part families and coding is based on manufacturing features that is if a part consists of a four drilled holes and cornered edges. These are the specifications. These part family classifications are coded into the system and stored it as a file that the product has four holes and cornered edges. And components requiring similar process are grouped into the same family and all parts in a fa part family must be related. Then database structure design. The database consists all the necessary information for an application and can be accessed by a several programs for specific application. Then plan editing and parameter selection. Plan editing involves some modification that is to be made to the standard plan before it can be issued to the shop. Because if a defect can be uh, placed or in the plan, uh, it, it will not uh, satisfy the customer. So, it will need to be edited before issuing to the shop. A process plan also includes process parameters and the parameter file can be integrated with the variant planning to select process parameters automatically. Then these are the plan files or the process plan sheets then coded into coded and finally placed in the system and stored it in a file for retrieval purpose. CAD model, coded, standard plan file, then retrieval by use of a computer, a process plan can be retrieved. Then generative process planning. Process plans are created from information available in the manufacturing database without human intervention. Upon receiving the design model, the system can generate the required operations and operation sequences for the components. The design logic is employed to produce the process plan and machine selection, tool selection, process optimization are automated using generative planning techniques. This is these are the chart of the generative computer aided process planning. First start, then exist a search for the existing file and code generation, then part geometry, then the editing module and extraction of the uh, module plan if it is already available then process correlation then selection and sequencing module machine tool and tool selection standard time and cost uh, cost estimation then if any uh, errors are present the editing process then finally a process sheet is obtained then forward and backward planning in a generative process planning, when plans are generated, the system must define an initial state in order to reach the final stage. If the initial stage is the raw material, the final stage is the finished product and the planning is done from bottom up. It is called forward planning. If it is done from top down, it is called backward planning. Then advantages, component representation module and report generation module, these are the modules these are all the advantages of the generative process planning. Then semi-generative process planning. It is defined as a combination of the generative and a variant. So it is called a semi-generative. 
In this, a pre-process plan is developed and modified before the plan itself is used in a real production environment. This is similar to the generative environment that the final process plan and intermediate stages of the generative process plan is modified or supplemented by a process planner. Then modifying and process planner intervention is small compared to the variant approach. So this is a short video friends about the computer aided process planning. If you like this video put a thumbs up and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos. So thank you for watching.